Hey guys, what's up? This is the Mapped Out Gamer here, and let's continue covering the beta maps from Black Ops 3. I don't normally pick favorites, but I'd have to say this time I've saved my favorite map for last. EVAC is all about straight lines and polygonal structures. It sets up a uh, prime real estate for smooth, guns-up gameplay. Let's play some Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Beta. All right, so what's so great about EVAC? This map looks to be a, you know, like an evacuation site of some sort. You can tell by the many SOS messages graffitied all throughout this map. We got lots of aged and mossy looking grown textures. Fantastic, you know, really run down, decomposed type of theme for this map. Moving on to the map structure, we get a three lane map with more weight on the southern end. When I say more weight on the south end, what I basically mean is the middle lane and the south lane are closer together. Thus meaning, you know, a lot more foot traffic and uh, lane flow kind of goes to the south side primarily. Think of a asymmetrical map layout and uh, the side with the more uh, lane convergence and foot traffic would be the heavier side, quote unquote. Speaking of the south lane, this lane travels towards the poolside area as you travel west to east. Prior to approaching this water room, there's a high ground area on the west end, perfect for recon. This water room sits a little bit lower, so it's susceptible to uh, grenades rolling in from the west and the east side windows. Players are quick to jump through these open windows, but get sneaky and attack from the water side or even top side above the room. As you exit eastward out of the room, you'll move into some close quarter rooms that uh, lead you through the back end east side. Let's go ahead and bust a U-turn and head up the center lane. This lane hugs the southern lane, but lands you in a central arena room. I bet you're asking, you know, what's an arena room? So it's essentially a room that has a raised outer rim and a lowered floor. Uh, think of it like a football arena. You know, the crowd sits up pretty high and watches the action going on below. The arena room has four primary entrances, including one back door entrance. Uh, all the lanes actually cross into the central arena room as well. Uh, speaking of that back door entrance, it is located near the center pitfall area of the map. It's a great way to kind of infiltrate that arena room. Speaking of the pitfall areas, uh, the major wall running path is located here in the center of the map, kind of on the northwest side. Uh, it's almost like a shortcut into the north end lane. Travel eastward along the wall and you'll land second story in the north side double decker room. Uh, this double decker room overlooks the north open area, you know, faces towards the west. Remember, overlooks give you the high ground, you know, use this positioning to your advantage. Keep moving eastward and down the stairs and you'll exit through uh, this tight close quarter rooms and out to the east side. If you don't plan on getting so up close and personal with the enemy, go ahead and take the angled wall run path and flank them through that side on the northeast corner. That wraps up the map breakdown of the map EVAC in Black Ops 3. In conclusion, the map EVAC screams, you know, synthetic structures and streamlined routes. This is a really great map. I loved it. The Guns Up philosophy really shines on this map. Go ahead and check out my other map breakdown videos uh, from the beta. If you enjoyed my content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Catch me on Twitter at MappedOutGamer. Peace.